Hi everybody, uh, Father Brian and Natanya Friesen here. We wanted to record a short interview for you in realization that on Sunday we're having our special vestry meeting and we've been discerning God's call to bring a second deacon on board. So I've asked Natanya to tell us first a little bit about herself. Thanks. Um, I was born in Vancouver and that's where I grew up. Uh, I did not grow up going to church, but when I was 15, a friend of mine invited me to an Anglican youth group, and that turned out to be a really significant invitation for two reasons. Um, most importantly, I heard the gospel for the first time and uh, became a follower of Jesus, and I was baptized a year later and then confirmed, um, and that became my church home as long as I lived in Vancouver. And the second reason, also important, is that I met Michael there. <laughs> so. Um, we attended that church until we moved to Ontario in uh, 2000. Michael came to do his MBA, I came to teach uh, post-secondary English. And then in 2002, we moved to Toronto uh, and pregnant with our first child, we were looking for a church home. We came to All Saints and found our spiritual home here. And we've been here ever since. It's been a huge privilege to be part of this community and to raise our children here. Wonderful, thank you. Antonia, can you tell us what led you to formally begin discerning God's call? Yes, uh, and I, I hope she doesn't mind me naming her, <laughs> uh, but it was a longtime member of this community. It was Joanne Colburn who approached me about five years ago and asked me if I'd ever considered becoming a deacon because she saw something in me that struck her as deacon-like. Um, and that was, that was a new uh, thought for me. I hadn't discerned that before. Um, but I was attentive to, to that because I think when your community speaks something to you, you listen. Mm -hmm. um, so I, that began a sort of formal process. I had conversations with Reverend Patrick, with you, with mm -hmm. Reverend Jennifer, um, and that spurred me to take on uh, seminary and to go to school, um, and to listen to the community at Wycliffe, um, and, and just to sort of enter into this process of listening whether or not ordained ministry was was calling and whether or not in particular diaconal ministry was a calling um, and that's been a process that has been underway it's for five years now it's been five years it's been five years wonderful <laughs> yeah okay that's great thank you so our last question natanya realizing that you've begun a formal process with the diocese of toronto and with a small committee here on behalf of the people at all saints kingsway where God's call is discerned and it's often clarified as you go through the process. So we realize that. But how do you believe as you understand it right now, today, that God's called you to serve in his church? Um, I think through the process of discernment uh, and study, I've come to understand what diaconal ministry mm -hmm. is. And the more I've learned about it, the more sort of compelling it has been to me. And I have sensed an invitation from God to enter into that more formally. Uh, as, as baptized Christians, we're all invited into a ministry of service, particularly on behalf of the vulnerable and the marginalized. Um, and my understanding is that diaconal ministry will allow me to sort of step into that in a, in a formal way, but also, and really importantly, to help equip the community here to step into their baptismal calling. Um, and so that has really been sort of the, the piece of this that has been so... Um, beautiful to me and where I have heard God's invitation mm -hmm. to to embrace that. Wonderful. Natanya, thank you so much for taking a thank few minutes you. to share with us. We hope to see everyone at the special vestry meeting. It'll be right after the 10 a.m. service on Sunday. Bye everybody. Thank you.